Hey guys, it's Brayden from Illuminations Co. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple program that can both respond to what you say and say what it needs to say. So first, we're going to open up Visual Studio. We're going to create a new project and we're going to call it Voice Bot. Okay, you can make the window look however you want, but you double click on it, you come here, and you go reference, we're going to add a reference, and we're going to type speech, Oops, that's caps, speech, until that comes up, then we're going to click include, okay, and over here we're going to type using system.speech.synthesis, synthesis, Assist. Jeez. Jeez. There we go. Don't do what I just did. So, in this episode, we're going to be making the computer talk back to us. So, basically, we're going to go speech synthesis, speech synthesizer. S is equal to new speech synthesizer. Okay, then we're going to end it. So, now in here, we're going to test it out by going s dot speak. Then we're going to type in test. And when we start it, test. I don't know if you can hear that, but for me, it says test. So, and it says it in a woman's voice. So, how we can change the voice to go s dot select voice by hints. Then we're going to do voice gender dot I'm gonna do male or not male female because it sounds better on my computer so I'm gonna press start and so it automatically when you do that it sets the voice to female so now whenever you use it in the code it'll say it in a female voice so I'm gonna do s dot speak and I'm gonna say hello my name is, and we're going to call it voice, voice bot. So now it hello, up. Hello, my name is voice bot. It says, hello, my name is voice bot. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to use speech recognition. So when you say something to the computer, it can respond however it wants. So thanks for watching.